enthalpy is symbolized by capital H and it is defined as the system's internal energy plus the product of the system's pressure times its volume. That isn't going to have a lot of meaning or relevance for us. But what we'll find is that enthalpy is essentially heat. That's why the capital H comes into play. But we can thank Heike for coining the term enthalpy for us. There is much that could be said about enthalpy. Most of it not of interest to us. What we need to know is if a process occurs at constant pressure the change in enthalpy delta H of the system equals the heat Q lost or gained by the system. We can see why enthalpy is symbolized by capital H because if we have a process at constant pressure the change in enthalpy is equal to the heat that's lost or gained. In other words delta H is equal to H final minus H initial. Delta in science always means final minus initial. So delta H would be final H minus initial H and that's equal to Q. That middle part of that equation we don't really care about. It's only the outside. The change in enthalpy is equal to the heat that is lost or gained. Where the little p below the Q indicates constant pressure conditions. When the change in enthalpy is positive, the system has gained heat. That would be an endothermic process and an endergonic process. When the change in enthalpy is negative, the system has lost heat, so that would be an exothermic process and an exergonic process. Enthalpy is extensive property, meaning that the amount of material affects its value. If we have one mole of something that's burned, or if we have five moles of something that's burned, the amount of heat is going to be different. In the burning of firewood at constant pressure, the enthalpy change equals the heat release. Delta H is negative, because this is clearly an exothermic process, and it depends on the quantity of wood burned. The change in enthalpy for a reaction and its reverse are the opposites of each other. In this process we're burning hydrogen to form water vapor and we can see that we are releasing a certain amount of energy assuming that these coefficients 2 here and a 1 here and a 2 there represent moles. It's understood that those coefficients represent moles whenever we see a delta H off to the side like this. If we flip that equation around with the water vapor being the reactant and the hydrogen and the oxygen being the products, then the enthalpy change has the opposite sign. And this shouldn't surprise us. We know that when we burn hydrogen, heat is released. So if we're going to decompose water vapor, we would have to put energy in. We can think of enthalpy or energy as a reactant. I was taught whenever we see something off to the side like this, whatever that number is, we put it on the reactant side. In other words, for this first equation, I would take negative 483.6 kilojoules, and I would write that on the reactant side. I don't like to see a negative in an equation, so I would want to add 483.6 to each side which would cancel it on the reactant side and then it would appear in positive form on the product side and that's what we have we're producing some heat. If we put energy for the second equation if we put that on the reactant side it says 2H2O plus 483.6 gives me 2H2's plus an O2 oh okay energy is on the reactant side but that's just a personal preference the enthalpy change depends on the states of reactants and products there we have our first equation again suppose we have something similar but instead of the product being two moles of water vapor we have two moles of liquid water let's see would there be more 
or less energy released in the second case? And the answer is more energy will be released because two moles of liquid water have less internal energy than two moles of water vapor. So to give us two moles of liquid water, we would have to release more energy. So we shouldn't be surprised that this number is also negative, but has a bigger magnitude than when we produce water vapor. Let's summarize enthalpy. For processes that occur at constant pressure, the change in enthalpy, delta H, equals the heat transferred, Q. Delta H is positive for endothermic processes and negative for exothermic processes. For a given reaction and its reverse, their delta H's have opposite signs. Also, the change in enthalpy, delta H, depends not only on the substances in the reaction, but also on their states of matter.